Leo Moon, welcome. Welcome to your mini reading here in beautiful Balmoral Beach, Sydney, Australia. I hope you like this location as much as I do. This is a place that I absolutely love. I used to come here with my friends in my 20s and just hang out and I absolutely love this place. So hopefully over the coming months, you know, I'll take you to some other interesting places here in Sydney and you can get a feel for this gorgeous city. It is truly stunning. Uh, you know, if I didn't love London so much, I would of course still be here. This is such a beautiful place. But well, my stars took me to London, so that's, that's why I'm there. Right, so let's take a look at your mini reading today. So you've got, we've, we've got two things to look at in particular. I'm looking at a future opportunity or the future for you, and we're also looking at the past and what kind of past you might be dealing with. So what have you got in your future here? Well, I'm looking at the Mars-Rahu conjunction, sharing Gemini, 7th May, 2019 to 22nd June, 2019. That's happening in your 11th house. So I'm loving this. Wow, this is good. Because Mars loves being in the 11th house. Rahu loves being in the 11th. Oh, this is great, guys. Lucky you. You are one of the lucky, lucky signs. This is great. This is a powerhouse opportunity right here. So you can use this transit to create a future vision for your life, right? This is time to start visualizing the next level up, dream big. Um, this is connected in with your home life and career life. <coughs> so great energy to pursue the future. Great time to create the future. Great time to take charge of your life and to steer it where you want. Okay, really, really great transit for you. So for you personally, Leo Moon, for some of the signs, this is not a great thing, but for you personally, this is. So good on you. I hope you can make the most of that conjunction there. Past that you might have to deal with. What past might you be dealing with? We've all got some past that we've got that we're dealing with at the moment. Jupiter is retrograde in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. This is happening in your fourth house. So those months of Jan, Feb, March, you might see something in those months repeating again uh, from now kind of uh, for the next few months type thing so and this is in relation to your fourth house it could be to do with mother's health it could be to do with your health um, this is a mixed transit for you so take it easy if you feel stressed or tired uh, but overall with the activity of Mars and Rahu you can possibly reinvent things at home okay uh, it may take a bit of effort it may take some trying but Hey, you know, it feels like you've got the energy up in that Mars Rahu sort of area. Um, you might be covering old ground in relation to the family, family home. So something, yeah, something from January that's gone by, you'll cover it again. Now next door to the Jupiter retrograde, we've got Saturn K through still conjunct, of course. Um, and that's happening in your fifth house. So through old things, new light is coming through with that Saturn Cape conjunction. So look out for new illumination in your creative thinking. One tip I've been giving to all signs is if that you feel that you're stuck in the past somehow, or things are stagnant, or things aren't going, moving, things that you might be stuck in that Saturn Cape conjunction a little bit, go into the future, create the future. This is really a time to throw your energy into the future and Try to create something new, okay? Try to create something new, something that excites you, something that delights you, right? We can all put our free will energy to creating new and beautiful things for ourselves. So Leo Moon, I wanna thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene isn't it stunning?